Welcome back to EverQuest people. Today I'm going to teach you about another group of monsters you don't want to mess with. It is known as the rattlesnake. In fact, the giant rattlesnake. Let's go ahead and get him. He is, whoop, guess what? He got his friend too. So when that happens, you know it's time to run. I want to point out first that they are social and they will fix your wagon if two of them get on you because they have poison on them. But you can outrun them. They're not the fastest monsters. And let's pop them with this. Come on. Get them. And ouch. Oh, and just like your friend the Gila Monster, he has a small stun on him. You got to be careful with him because what he will do is if he does catch you, he's going to cast poison on you. I like to kite him through trees like this. This will get them to go the long way. As you can see, you can land tainted and breath on them, which is just amazing. Later on in the game, most mobs, you can't even do that. So just run him through the trees like this as you kill him off, even if he's got his friend with him. And operate near the zone line, something like this. Serpentine right through here, and you can get in him. Get a little distance on him before you cast the next one on him. One more tainted breath for you. Surprise, surprise. And keep running him around like this. But do not engage in combat with him because I'll show you real shortly if, if he does catch up to me that he's got a surprise waiting for you. He's got also that nasty poison that his friend has and that will just ruin it for you. There we go, one down and poison's going to fix him. Okay, got him. And for some reason, he is immune to disease or just sicken. Oh, there we go. Got me with that. And it's funny that he's a poisonous creature and he supposedly is, should have some immunity to poison, but doesn't look like that's the case. Now if you're on the poison, you'll see a weak poison. It's got a counter number of two on it. That means it requires two clears of poison to clear it off you. And here he comes. Let's just keep running around. Spirit of Wolf is your friend here. With that, you pretty much got this guy. need that uh, tainted breath to do as much damage as you can so kind of ride drive him around in a circle like this watch out for the mummy over there and there you got him and that's the way to get him if he's running if you're running away from him you do less damage to him with the dot but if you're running in a circle like that you'll do full damage to him okay so you saw a weak poison he'll proc on you it doesn't seem like it's a big deal, but if he keeps procking it on you, you're going to constantly have weak poison on you. But that's good to know. I had trouble landing sicken on this guy, although you do know it does land. And Tainted Breath landed no problem. But that's why you don't want to fight this guy is because he's a lot of trouble. In a group setting, you're probably going to have to be healing extra, which means more mana, more downtime. To recover from that, you want to get straight up monsters that you're not going to have to monkey around with like this guy but if you're going solo and you want to get these guys you saw how slow they are uh, you can go ahead and get them as long as they don't get you and I would prefer them over the Gila monster because the Gila monster has a long long and I mean a long um, stun and you could really get killed with it but these guys you see here uh, two tainted breaths on each one so you're talking about 58 about 160 mana the amount of mana you have is about 200 so um, you're going to need about two of these to take down a level um, level 11, two levels above you. But the guy that was below my level, you only need basically one of these. So one tainted breath per uh, victim. So it means maybe about four of these you can take on a full tank of mana because you will regen sooner or later. Okay, good luck out there in North Row. Uh, wherever you find these kind of monsters, there's also, they have ASP, ASP. Spelled ASP, they are also in South Row and other places you will find poisonous snakes. But most people don't even fight the poisonous snakes. They're almost not worth the trouble. 
Sometimes it will drop a, um, a snake fang, which is a nice little weapon you can get. So it may be worth killing them if you can. But uh, you just want to be able to heal and get them. Good luck out there and hope you have fun hunting these guys and get that snake fang.